the translucent, the translucent, I can't say that word. Hey y'all, what's up? I hope that you're having an awesome day. Um, I just got home from work and I was feeling pretty energetic, surprisingly, and I decided that I'm going to go ahead and film a haul. Um, of some stuff that I got from Ulta that I've been kind of accumulating over the past month. So we're just going to jump right in it and I'm going to show y'all what I've gotten. And if you keep hearing that little bouncing noise, that's Coda. She's playing with her ball and she's just being a good girl. I have this huge bag filled with stuff. So where am I going to put you? My desk. All of this is a gigantic mess right now. Ugh, okay. See my monitor. Okay. So since I have had some of this stuff for like you know two or three weeks now, I have kind of used some things. I just put it back in the packaging and back in the bag so I could show y'all everything. The first thing that I'm gonna pull out here is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Surprisingly, I'm like the last person on the face of the earth who has ever tried this, and I love it. I did my makeup at 8 or 9 this morning. It is 6.30 right now, and I still look pretty good, right? I also got another Morphe setting spray as well. Got a big thing of cotton what cotton squares I don't really like these I don't like the cotton whenever it's like super easy to pull apart and like flaky and stuff because then that cotton bits gets everywhere so I don't really like those but you know I'll use them I got this from elf it is the um, booster drops the hydration one um, I mix this in with my moisturizer and I really like how it makes my skin feel. It just adds just, I don't know, it's just like a nice, like kind of watery, serum-y type of a feel. Um, but I really like it. I don't know if it has super added any like extra hydration, but I do really like it. And you know, I might repurchase. It's just like a super thin formula and I don't know, it sinks into my skin really well and it does make my skin feel pretty soft. So definitely going to keep using this. I haven't tried mixing it in with foundations yet, but I might try that in the future. Uh, the next thing that I got here is from Cover FX. It is the Natural Finish Foundation and I got mine in the shade N10. So that is Neutral 10. One thing that I really love about Cover FX is the way that they kind of label their foundations. They have P for pink, N for neutral, and G for golden. So, like I said, I got mine in N10. I think there is one lighter shade than this, which is N0 or N00. And this is a thick foundation. Like, she thick. Um, but I really like the color. So hopefully you can see that right there. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this. I haven't really heard of anyone using it, so we'll try it out. Maybe we can try it out together and I will do like, you know, check-ins throughout the day and wear it and see how that works out. Ulta is doing a big sale on all of their like shampoos and conditioners and a lot of hair care stuff. Um, so I did get this stuff on sale and I'm super excited. I got the Kenra Strengthening Treatment. It is the Intense Anti-Breakage Deep Mask. So super excited to try this out. Like I said, I just got it today, so I haven't tried it out yet. Um, I also got the Kenra uh, Clarifying Shampoo and the Kenra Volumizing Conditioner. So I will update y'all on how that works out for me. I got a couple lashes from Kiss. I have the, they're both in the Lash Couture style family group, whatever you want to call it. These are in the style Midnight, and I don't know why I took these out of the packaging, but these are in the style Bustier. 
I have another Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Correcting Powder and this one is in the shade Translucent. The one that I have right now is in the shade, I think it's Creamy Natural. The Translucent, the Translucent, I can't say that word. The translucent shade is not actually translucent. So just be aware if you do buy this, it is a very like pretty white, like very white bright um, under eye. Well, I use it as an under eye powder, but it is very, very light in shade. And I do like to use that for my under eyes because I like that brightness that it gives. I have the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge. This is the new Master Chrome Highlight from Maybelline. It's the one that like Nikki Tutorials, I think like inspired the shade or something. Uh, I don't think that she actually helped create the shade. I think it was just like a nod to Nikki. Um, but this is in the shade 250. It looks like this. Let me swatch it. The powder, oh my God, it's so soft. Um, and I actually have not tried any of the other ones because I was afraid that it would be too, like, they would be too dark for my skin tone. Um, but this one, I have been using it. I have been using this one. I don't know if you can see it, but it is so nice. I have it on today, right here. And a little on my nose, too, so. I like it. Whew, we are almost done. I got two of my favorite primers, the Master Prime Hydrate and Smooth from Maybelline and also my uh, Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. This is like the best pore reducing primer from the drugstore ever, just to let you know. Still stand by this. I got another eye blender brush from Essence. I really like their eye blender brushes. I mean, it's like a big fluffy like blending brush. I mean, it's super duper soft, very cute. I love it. Um, my first one that I got is this one right here with this cool handle, but here is the new one and they're the same exact brush. They look exactly the same. They feel the same. And this will fluff out a little bit more as I use it. Um, I just, you know, haven't used it yet. So super excited to have another one of those because you can never have enough blending brushes. I have two loose pigments from Wet n Wild. I have uh, Dragon's Breath, which is this super gorgeous coppery shade. And what is this one? And Pegasus Flutter. And this is like a really pretty like lavender shade. It's nice. They have like a little sifter at the top of them so you don't get too much product dumped out at once. This is the um, Maybelline highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild pigment in Dragon's Breath and then this one, it's a little hard to see. You can kind of see it whenever I shift around. The top one, that is in Pegasus Flutter. I got another Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade Ivory. Super excited for this. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Um, it is supposed to last up to 24 hours. I've heard nothing but good things about this. And I got mine in the shade 010 Light Beige. So it's a super liquidy formula. Comes with a dropper. Spread it out. A very thin formula. Like completely thin compared to the um, cover effects foundation that I got as well. So here's the shade right here. That actually looks like a really good shade match for me. Three things left, and these are probably the most exciting things that I got. Um, and I am going to pull them all out at the same time. And the last thing I got is this from Stila. It is the Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. And I got mine in the shade Twig, Pig Ale, and Jezebel. They're so, so beautiful. Like, I don't know why it's taken me this long to get them. I'm absolutely in love, and I'm going to collect them all. It's going to happen. So, really quick, I'm going to swatch these for you, and then we will be done. So here is the swatches right here. The, the first one right here is Twig. Then we have Jezebel. And then this absolutely beautiful burgundy shade is Pig Ale. 
I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's P-I-G-A-L-L-E. So there they are. They are so pigmented, completely full coverage. They dry down pretty quickly, um, but I absolutely love them. I did a look with Jezebel not too long ago, um, and I put it up on my Instagram, and oh my god, that was one of my favorite looks that I've done in such a long time. These are so beautiful. They're so worth the price. They're like, I think $24 each, but they're worth it. They're absolutely beautiful, and I am going to collect a whole lot more of them. So that is everything that I have in my Ulta haul. I hope that this was entertaining for you. If you have any questions or want me to use any specific product in a video, please let me know. So that is it. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, make sure to like it and give it a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.